Hello and welcome to USAG Stuttgart 2022 Black History Program. On behalf of the Garrison Commander, Colonel Ziegler, and the Garrison Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Billy Norman, welcome to today's event. Although the platform is virtual, we thank each and one of you for taking times out of your schedule to join us for this event. This annual observance throughout the month of February celebrates the achievements and contributions of African Americans to American history. This year, we honor the observance with the theme, Black Health and Wellness. This annual celebration is credited to Dr. Carter G. Woodson, better known as the father of black history. Dr. Carter G. Woodson dedicated his life and career to the field of African American history. It was through an organization that he co-founded in which the first Negro History Week was initiated in February of 1926. From that year and moving forward through history, the shift of the month now celebrates for a year long. In 1976, President Gerald Ford decreed Black History Month as a national observance. 50 years, that's 50 years after it, had, um, it was initiated. Since that time, every American president has e issued a proclamation endorsing the annual event under public law number 99-244. Black Americans have left an incredible mark on history and our society. We have never fought in a war in which black Americans did not serve proudly. This year's theme, Black Health and Wellness, highlights the ways in which generations of black Americans have served our country and some of the stories of those who dedicated their lives to the health and wellness of soldiers and civilians. Our guest speaker for this year's Black History Program is USAG Stuttgart Deputy Garrison Chaplain, Chaplain John Ijuma. Chaplain John Vinay Ijuma was the first son of the late Louis Ijuma and Theresa Ijuma and was born in Alba, Nigeria in 1960. He earned a Bachelor's of Philosophy and Theology in Biograd Memorial Seminary in Agu, um, now which is affiliated um, University of Urban Rome. He later earned a Master's in Theology Studies and St. Thomas University in Houston, Texas. He was ordained to the Catholic priesthood in 1988 in Nigeria, where he served in various capacities from the assistant pastor and also the pastor in his DS of Christ the King Abba. In 1997, Chaplain Ajuma was then sent to the DS of Lake Charles, Louisiana, as a missionary due to shortage of priests in that DS at the time. He served in Lake Charles Diaz for seven years and later joined the U.S. Army, where he was commissioned as chaplain captain in 2004 and did his initial entrance at Fort Jackson, um, South Carolina. Chaplain Ajuma has served in Fort Lewis, Washington, two tours in Iraq, Afghanistan. He was also PCS twice in South Korea, Belgium, and before coming to USAG Stuttgart, he was at Fort Jackson, where he trained as an officer. And it's without further ado that I now present to you all Chaplain Ajuma. Each year in the month of February, we observe this and celebrate a history of a people made in the image and likeness of their creator as beautiful. The Army simply could not accomplish its mission without the skill and dedication of all of its members, we find our true strength in our ability to bring together people of different races, cultures, and faith who share common value like duty, honor, self-service, loyalty, and respect. In this year, as we celebrate the Black History Month and we think about black health and wellness, I'd like to call to mind a quote from Buddha that says, to keep the body in good health is a duty. Otherwise, we shall not be able to keep the mind strong and clear. Today, we honor the courageous service of black Americans to our nation. Black Americans make up about 19% of our total army and serves at every level of military leadership. Many come from a long line of army service, made especially unique in their parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents 
served a country that did not honor their citizenship in many ways. Our wellness well-being should be both body and spirit. We hear often that health is wealth. This is because our one cannot survive without good health, no matter how much money you have, nor can one enjoy the money without good health. Health makes one complete. In the Army, we have developed a focused strategy to address policies and procedures to make our organization more inclusive, to create spaces of belonging for everyone in the Army. We recognize to fight and win our nation's wars, we need the strength that comes from our diversity, which enables and drives the high performing and cohesive teams we need. Let us make health and wellness one of our, our new year resolutions as we are still in the early months of 2022. I may not be the expert on how to advise people on health and wellness, but I will direct that we read up some of the areas that can help us know on how to keep our body and soul together. Know and understand that our differences and our different cultures make our communities and our army strong and resilient. When soldiers know that you are going to take care of them and treat them with dignity and respect, they will go to incredible length for our army and our nation. Each of us is unique and bring different and valuable resources to the table, which only makes our army strong. From William London to Ensure good health, eat, eat lightly, breathe deeply, live moderately, cultivate, cheerful, and maintain an interest in life. Let us not forget that it is our spiritual well-being that keeps the body strong. Our body cannot do much without our mindset because we are made in the spirit with the image and likeness of our Creator. So this month of our Black history, and every month of this year, because black history is made every day of the year. Let us not forget to link ourselves to our spiritual well-being, which connects us all, both in time and space, to our God. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for taking time out of your busy schedule to help us observe this year's Black History Month program. Your inspiring words and heartfelt selection of words were definitely appreciated. As we conclude today's program, many thanks to Chaplain Ajuma and also many thanks to all of you for your continued support of USAG Stugart Equal Opportunity Program. And again, thank you.